Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In this session, I am going to speak about snapshot standby database. What is the use of snapshot standby database? What are the functionality? What is the meaning of snapshot standby database? These are all things we are going to cover in this session. So we have a different kind of standby database with us. We have physical standby database. We have logical standby database we have snapshot standby database if i am comparing the snapshot standby database with the physical standby database then the thing is a physical standby database get open in a mount stage and we can also open the physical standby database but the thing is it will get open in a read only mode we call it as active data guard a snapshot standby database can be open in a read only mode, a read write mode. So, if you are in a situation where you want to do uh, any kind of the testing, so testing means to say a, uh, a user we want to create table, we want to insert some data. So, in that situation, stat snapshot standby database will be in use because snapshot standby database can be open in a read write mode let me speak uh, about some more point about the snapshot standby database okay as i said earlier a snapshot standby database can be open in a read write mode a second is showing as guaranteed restored point what does it mean here the meaning is whenever you are converting a physical standby database to the snapshot standby database we are going to create some tables let's say i am going to create 1000 table on the snapshot standby database and my testing is done now i am converting back the snapshot standby database to the physical standby database so if the testing is done i don't want that 1000 tables to be created on the physical standby database because that tables was only the part of testing so how we can achieve the existing state of the physical standby database that can be achieved with the help of fra we called it as a flash recovery area here the thing is the time when you are converting the physical standby database to the snapshot standby database at the same time a guaranteed restore point will be created which will keep the track of existing physical standby database and the time when you are converting back to the physical standby database from snapshot standby database it will use the logs which are available from the flash recovery area to revert it back to the existing physical standby database state so this is all about guaranteed restore point so make sure when you are converting it is mandatory for us the time when you are convert the physical standby database to the logic to the snapshot standby database it is mandatory to keep the database in a flash recovery area this flash recovery area should be enabled to achieve to convert this physical standby database to the snapshot standby database and the third thing is a snapshot standby database receive an arc redo from a primary database but are not applied let me take one example we are on us we are working on a snapshot standby database for the testing purpose so user is coming he is trying to make the connection to the database the uh, connection will be established where the connection will go it will go to the primary database on primary database he is creating any table like emp okay and we are working on standby database so when he is creating when user is coming and trying to create emp table it doesn't get reflect here on the snapshot standby database but the archives will get moved to the snapshot standby database 
archive will get moved to the snapshot standby database but the archives will not get applied because here the MRP process is not running on the standby database and our testing is done now we are converting back to the physical standby database and we are starting the MRP process here what will happen whatever the changes which is happened on the primary database that will get reflect to the physical standby database because here the MRP process is starting here the MRP process we cannot start it So this is how we can do the testing on the standby database. To open the database in a read write mode, we need to use a snapshot standby database concept. I hope you understand the concept of the snapshot standby database. If you still have any queries, you can write mail to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you. Bye.